i place a seal upon you even as we prepare to step into the sixth month of the year everything that was preordained from january till now that has not yet found visibility in your life in this month of june as you step into it i call upon the god of my covenant every one of them must be featured in your life in the name of jesus listen by the grace of god and by the privilege of the election of grace i have i've had the opportunity to minister to without exaggeration millions of people i have seen what oppression can do i know spirits are real i know they can tie down destinies they can tie down even the people of god this is why he sent carpenters to judge these horns that lift up themselves against judah against israel against jerusalem he said i have sent four carpenters and for most of you you may be standing representing altars you're not just standing here for yourself now i'm going to begin to pray and i want you to bring the people out we have to do this very fast there are individuals who are standing here right now you are standing as an individual but in the realm of the spirit you are representing even a generation of people age-long captivities that are sponsored by wicked spirits that will just not let people and families go we're about to pray bring those outside let's do that very quickly father in the name that is above all names i decree and declare even tonight by the power that raised jesus from the dead everyone under the sound of my voice who is under any influence and any spirit that is not of the christ at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus the name that is above every other name are you ready one my god two three shout jesus jesus be God now by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out over families over destinies in the name that is above all names we decree and declare blotting out every handwriting every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross we decree and declare again by the fire of the holy ghost upon everyone and everything that is not of the christ Bring them out. We are praying. The Lord is showing me chains in the spirit. Chains that have held people down. I want to pray. Everyone who is under the influence of any chain of captivity right now at the count of three may fire land on you and burn those chains. One. Two. Three. In the name of Jesus, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Bring them out. Shake it, shake it, para tu siata. Enteleke skuta para tu siata. Every spiritual prison locking up people locking up their destiny the bible says to open the prison gates to them who are bound at the count of three you will shout that name jesus ancient doors ancient prison gates that have tied down families connected to bloodlines connected to ancestry in the name of jesus as you shout that name may they be destroyed one two three shout jesus Help that woman, please. 
prison doors be open now a father be open now in the name of Jesus please open your mouth in one minute and pray everything connecting you to ancestry by the power of the blood let it be broken please make sure you are praying in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stand justified by the resurrection of jesus and by the blood of the lamb they overcame them the bible says by the blood of the lamb and even the words of their testimony there are whole families under this influence be delivered now whole families be delivered now patterns and circles patterns and circles patterns and circles i cost you by the god of heaven patterns and circles in the name of jesus christ hallelujah our time is gone i may not have the time to prophesy but i'm hearing a name jennifer the lord is ministering to me i'm hearing a name jennifer maybe i'll just pray for that one person before we begin to minister to the sick jennifer i'm hearing that name jennifer where are you from state i'm from Imo state but i Imo got state. married to edo what do you have to do with edo state my husband is from edo state. your husband is from edo state i need to pray for you in the name of jesus christ everything i'm not saying your husband is a bad man my dear you hear what i'm saying but in the name of jesus anything coming from any region i stretch my hands in the name of jesus let there be complete deliverance for you now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of Jesus deliverance for you for your husband in the name of Jesus what is your name Jennifer I need to pray for you what's wrong with your health I'm going to pray for you that everything wrong with your blood in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands look at me let it be cleansed now by the power that raised Christ from the dead and the spirits that are back of it I cost them now all of you in front here i declare be delivered now complete deliverance now everything you have stolen back your lord and go in the name of jesus christ one of the prayers that bishop abioye prayed for me is what i want to start with tonight to pray for you he said the grace that makes ease that makes things happen easily please you don't have to kneel and i know he prayed from the depth of his heart in the name that is above all names that name ebenezer let it speak over your life When mommy Sarah laid hands and prayed, she made a statement. And when we were at the office, she said something to me. She said, there is a grace for ease that is on our ministry. Same thing. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, hardship is not a good thing. Oh. Don't, don't ever embrace it. it. It can interrupt many useful things in your life. I pray that this grace that came from the throne 
routed through the, the patriarchs and the matriarchs in this city that makes for ease. I stretch my hands. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The grace that brings encounters to a man. Please be sensitive and pray now. You don't have to bring anyone under the anointing outside. We don't have that time. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying. There is a grace that draws men and really helps them to see an unfolding of deep things in the spirit. I release that grace upon you now. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic and I declare I speak to the two lift gates of your destiny be open now 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 the Bible says and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah Paris Cobradicia and he overtook the chariots of Israel. I want to release a grace for speed. Just help those under the anointing. Father, by the grace of God, I declare. I don't know how it has been before now, but I declare speed. Take that grace now. Speed in your life. Speed in your destiny. Help them, please. Speed in your family. Overflows outside. Speed. Speed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. I prophesy to the north, the south, the east and the west. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are positioned. I command them to appear now. Please help them. I command them to appear now. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. The Bible says, Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. I decree and declare the grace that distinguishes. May that grace rest mightily upon you. Hallelujah. I was preaching in Rogic and I please permit me to honor the woman of God, Pastor Mrs. Bimbo Ekweme. God bless you. We truly honor you. Thank you. Apostle Goodhart couldn't make it, he traveled. But listen, while I was preaching there at the conference, I was studying and the Spirit of God told me to pray for the grace upon the people the grace for visibility believe me people of god let me tell you being gifted is one thing but there is a grace that gives you visibility the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there are many gifts listen some of you are in ministry you truly are gifted some of you are in business like dr stanley prophesied over you but it looks like the gate and the revelation came from acts chapter 12 that the bible says how that they bound peter and prayers were going on by the church and the bible says an angel came loose his chain brought him out of the first gate out of the second gate he says he came to an iron gate that opened up to the city there is a gate that opens a man to the city in the name of jesus i decree and declare the gate that must be open for your influence for your gift for your product to find expression receive that grace now hallelujah the Bible says certain men came to David in the cave of Adullam. Even though they met him hiding, they bound themselves with a covenant to help him. 
that he must become king let me tell you this no matter how great you are your exploits is predicated on the quality of the people that believe in you and stand by you no matter how anointed you are the gift of men is a grace that God can bring faithful men faithful men father where are the people who must show up over someone's destiny someone's ministry wherever they are by the spirit we call them into your life now hallelujah listen it's one thing for people to believe you be conscious of what you are receiving but it's another thing for people to stand up and bless you the bible says god restored the captivity of job job 42 verse 10 and he says his friends came and everybody came with a bag of money when saul met samuel he said on your way back you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you there is a real grace for favor esther chapter 2 and verse 15 and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians it shall come to pass that as you go you shall not go empty i decree and declare the kind of favor required to accelerate your life i declare may that favor rest upon you whatever has destroyed your prayer life that it has gone down the grace to pray the grace to fast completely gone right now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar the grace to intercede the grace to pray the grace to wait upon the lord the grace to create changes in prayer receive that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord the bible says and jacob dug a well and the philistines came and covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him he called it rehoboth he said god has given me my own space there is a grace for territory where the your portion in a land is kept and left for you in the name of Jesus wherever your portion is in this land I stand in partnership with the grace upon the fathers in this land and I declare that you locate that which is yours in the name of Jesus Christ now in the name of Jesus Christ we're wrapping up I want to pray for the grace that draws the ministry of the Holy Spirit to him. Listen, we are made by our fellowship with him. This one, there is a strong grace that will come on you. I want you to believe it. There is a grace, an embracing to wait, to stay until you are furnished, until you are made. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From the front to the back, the left to the right, everyone who must carry this grace. Father, call people, call people into dimensions of intimacy. Call people. Receive that grace. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It's a fire that is resting on you. Receive that grace. Help them please receive that grace. The overflows outside receive that grace. You will never be the same. I release you with a hunger for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray the last prayer point for tonight. There is the spirit of revelation. Acts 
access it's a fellowship into the mystery you are called it's not just something you study you are called into the fellowship of this mystery and as much as the lord has shown us mercy and helped us i stretch my hands there are people who must drink of that grace i stretch my hands access to depths revelations of the spirit carry that grace now carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah anyone here appointed to death that death is following you following your family members i stand by the god of heaven we declare cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now in the name of jesus christ praise the lord now please listen just help those under the anointing if you are sick in your body just lay your hands there right now we have to pray you are sick in your body I apologize we may not have a time for we this is this is something that is ongoing so we have to respect time but I just want to speak over we cannot end the meeting without speaking over the sick help them please help them every spirit hear me my goodness i'm seeing chains this is what i'm seeing in the spirit chains in the name of jesus anyone who is bound by any demonic force hear the word of the lord i stand as one sent and i decree and declare my god i'm seeing fire rest on people i command those devils be gone now be gone now every strange spirit that is not of the christ I release you from their influence now in the name of Jesus be healed now blood conditions be healed now bone conditions be healed now all kinds of abnormalities be healed now conditions be healed now for your loved ones who probably have contracted the COVID and you're trusting God for their healings I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead healing for them now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus everything that did not work hitherto over your life and your destiny by the word of the lord i declare return and watch it work now in the name of jesus christ exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 you're about to receive the grace for favor oh there is such a grace for favor please read with me projected as loud as you can please want to read and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty lift your voice in one minute and cause emptiness from your life cause emptiness in your church emptiness financially someone is praying in this conference Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the kind of favor you have never seen in your life and even in your ministry. I stand by the election of grace and I declare may that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. Strange favor. Strange favor. There is 
is a grace for speed where in a short time you can do much for the kingdom listen the unit of destiny is time whatever eats your time is eating a part of your destiny the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and over on barefoot he overtook the, the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I want to declare speed. I don't know what has tied you in one place. Shabakata, Sananarakatabakata. In the name of Jesus, may the grace for speed land upon your life. Rest to help them. Help them upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Listen to me. There is no man who rises without the assistance of men. I want to pray for destiny helpers. Keep your hands down first. First Chronicles 12 22. Let me show you a scripture. Never forget this scripture for the rest of your life. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 22. Please read with me if you're a Christian. Ready to read? Want to read? For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him until he was a great host like the host of God. Where are your destiny helpers? I stand in the name of Jesus by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic. I prophesy to the north, I prophesy to the south, the east and the west. Everyone who must show up to help you, I command them, appear now. Appear now. Amen. Help us in ministry. Appear now. Amen. Financial help us. Appear now. Listen. Listen to me. It's important that help comes for you fast. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. They were not bad people. It's just that the bridegroom didn't come fast. He says, I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten my word to perform it. Can I pray for you? Everything sitting on your destiny. Shema. Every horn that will not let you rise. That will not let your ministry be seen. I stand by my God. I call upon the God of my covenant. The God of Jeshurun. I declare the powers that fight you. They go down now. 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 Anyone here in business, in career, it looks like doors are not opening. You do everything you know to do, but these doors don't open. I prophesy to those doors, Efata, be open. Efata, I come by the road of the apostolic. Efata, be open. Atmosphere shift now, chains be broken, rain out, Holy Spirit come now, heaven's open, heaven's open, Not the king sleep 
and he said bring me the chronicles when they opened it he found where Mordecai saved his life but did not reward him many of you have been there for people you were there for the rising of people but for some reason there is a spirit that makes people that rise forget you I've come by the road of the apostolic and prophetic may the book of remembrance be open over you now May the book of remembrance Let it be open in the name of Jesus let me pray for you before we pray over the requests listen to me do you know just because one person forgot to tell the king he added two years to the pain of joseph joseph said when you stand before the king please remember me when he stood before the king he forgot after two years when god was ready to bring him out he shot the heaven over the, the sorcerers the astrologers and the man said i remember my wrong two years ago while you were angry you sent me to prison there was this young Hebrew boy and the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king sent for Joseph there are times that you can deliver but you don't have access to the gates you will need somebody already at the gates to speak for you I prophesy to you whoever is at the gates that can speak for you for your business for your family for your ministry and has not yet spoken i open the book of remembrance and i declare they must speak for you amen they must speak for you amen in the name of jesus christ amen we're almost done can i pray for your prayer life he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Elijah was a man of like passion, the Bible says, and he prayed earnestly over a span of three and a half years that there be no rain and there was no rain. He shut the heavens. An attack on your prayer life is a real attack. Pastors, pray. My house shall be called a house of prayer. If it is not the house of prayer it will be a den of robbers if your life is that house and it's not a house of prayer a robber will come and steal in your life it is either a house of prayer or a den of robbers whatever has eaten your prayer life whatever has reduced your passion and your fire for prayer in the name of Jesus help them please by the power of the Holy Ghost prayer fire from heaven let it land upon your life now prayer fire from heaven please help them let it land upon your life now let it land upon your life now the grace to fast the grace to pray in the name of jesus receive that grace Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4 Amplify We are wrapping up Habakkuk chapter 3 and 4 Amplify Is that possible? I want to release the grace for revelation Habakkuk chapter 3 There is a dimension of dominion You can never command until the word of Christ dwells in you richly I'd like you to read it please can we have amplified if not no problem we'll just work with what we have the Bible says and he 
his brightness was as the light the bible says he had horns coming out of his hands amplified says out of that hand the rays that were coming there was the hiding place of his power god's power has a location it can hide in his light so the more spiritual illumination you have the more you can command real authority exousia the capacity to legislate on behalf of another paul prayed a prayer colossians chapter 1 verse 9 he prayed that we grow in three realms of knowledge number one that we be filled with the knowledge of his will colossians 1 verse 9 number two that we be filled with all wisdom and then number three that we be filled with spiritual understanding he says and now i commend you brethren to god and to the word of his grace he said it is able to build you up and then to give you an inheritance even among them that are sanctified and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise the bible says unto salvation It takes access to the truth of God's word John 1 5 and the light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehending them I declare the grace for revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ access to the mysteries of the kingdom May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Please lift your hands as I prophesy everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life. This is where everybody participates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Shake it, ta 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 receive it receive it receive it receive it now now wisdom in business wisdom in career receive it in the name of jesus i pray for anyone who is confused here trusting god for direction in the name of jesus may the force of god come to you and bring you direction in the name of jesus christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do i speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from january till now in the name of the lord jesus christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are 
are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job the hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of god receive the strength of god in the name of jesus christ between now and next week koinonia i pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back
never can succeed where they have ignored you God can be celebrated in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in prayer can bring favor yes sir prayer you can pray your way strategically pray your way into the hearts of men you had Nathaniel Bassi say yesterday that while they were praying and praising it just came to someone's do you know there are many people who can give it's just that God has not told them to give you anything so don't be angry with them they are obedient God has not told them will they just come and bless you ah, he has five estates can't he give me a house ask God to tell him because if God talks to him he will obey God can talk to men God can say sir get up take this person as your son and help him Abba, this thing is not so difficult he's called the father of spirits he can talk to men are we together God can talk to a man and say come and become a financial partner with this ministry with this person and he comes and says sir I, I came by the instruction of the Lord God has helped me I'm successful and the Lord said I should be allocating this favor provoking prayers I pray it I pray it. Prayer can bring favor. Ladies and gentlemen, you can pray. Father, look down on us. Happen to us the pain of this family. Lord, take away this shame for the sake of your glory. Connect us with strategic people. And the spirit of wisdom begins to look for men. And all of a sudden, you get up and while you are sitting in a restaurant, someone just comes and you greet him. Say, your face looks familiar. Say, no, I don't know you, sir. He says really something is drawing me to you you remember your prayer who are you sir that's not the most important thing take this card come to my office um which of them sir because i'm seeing three cards here with different addresses come to this one and you enter an office that looks like a palace and see that man that the restaurant was his own he said what are you doing he said nothing he said can i send you to manage my company in israel he says, sir, with all pleasure. He says, are you busy? He says, me? Busy? Busy, busy for what? 
n'est pas venu. Alléluia. Do you believe what I'm saying? The last key, the last key to provoking favor is the impartation of the anointing for favor. There is an anointing for favor. I call it the Esther anointing. <laughs> the Bible tells us in the book of Esther that there was a village girl called Hadassah. Take note, village girl. Are we together? They called on all the ladies in the land. Dress yourselves and prepare. The king is looking for a wife. You can imagine how many of them were meticulously trying to walk. And the wise woman went and met the one who kept the king's women. You know the king. What does he want? He said, come. I will give you a kind of oil. Keep rubbing it on your body for one year. Stand before the king. That's it. Ah, I shouldn't learn how to walk. Just do what I, I am the keeper of the king's women the bible says no man knows what is in the heart of a man save the spirit of that man so the spirit searches out he knows and he tells you there is an anointing that can bring favor and esther kept rubbing that oil it was doing something to her countenance all the women who were passing the king was looking for because the king knows what the oil should do and as soon as he saw Hadassah, he said, this is it. And it was because of her on the throne that the people of God were saved. There is an anointing that can come on a man. Yes, sir. <laughs> there is an anointing that can come on a church. There is an anointing that can come on individuals. It's true. There is an anointing. Do you believe this? We are going to pray. Our time is gone. But I bet you it is worth it. It truly is worth it. That you can get something today. I think it was in this church I demonstrated how the anointing works. Let me show you again. Can I use you my dear? Come. Can I use you to come? I want you to stand there. You are a destiny helper. You are supposed to bring favor. You are the one in need for favor. Alright. All of you walk and pass yourselves as I illustrate. This is her destiny helper passing her. There is nothing on her. Turn around. Come again. Look at this. Your destiny helper is in Lagos. He keeps passing you every day because the grace on you that should call them. The anointing, keep coming again. The anointing is a voice in the spirit. But you came to house of David. Watch this. And something was upon you. Now watch this. Listen to what is about to happen to you. Come. Walk slowly now. Where you were about to pass, but the anointing starts calling. The anointing has a voice. You call it coincidence, but it's intentional. It's a law. Mantles are falling here today. Anointings are falling here today. For the kings to be born, for the kings to arise for revival to return for the poor us to arise Ali Ali standing before you is what I just acted before you I was in HICC last week to the glory of the Lord after the service I just finished the last meeting I was on my way going and the protocol told me that a young man was standing before me with the key of a car I said what is this I have never bought a car with my money all the vehicles God has brought has been favor this car that they gave I've not even seen it I said, please go and discuss with the church people there. They are, they are I'm, I'm being hosted, so I don't want to break any protocol. And they called right now. It's today that I'm going to look at this thing to see it. Does that person not have relatives in need? Your pastor and his wife 
will tell you testimonies upon testimonies pastor's brother said something yesterday while we we're in the office i said pastor has a grace that makes men like him the name is favor and the brother said something yesterday he said it has always been like that that while they were growing up out of 100 percent of people that come 70 percent are looking for pastor shola grace that's what carried you from where you were and brought you to come and sit here brothers and sisters if you believe and can give me five minutes your life will so change in a way that you will go back and say god what is this can you begin to blast in tongues and say lord this is it this is it grew in wisdom the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong some of us are seated here you came to house of David this morning with pains that only favor can take away with financial loads on your head that only favor can change hallelujah let me tell you something pastor do you know why i wore this suit you may have forgotten but you were the one who bought me this suit it was intentional i wore it because i wanted to speak on favor pastor by the spirit got me this beautiful suit that you all admire there are two ways to buy it use money or use favor is that true your dear pastor was the one who bought me this wonderful suit and i decided to come to lagos with it i said oh i'll wait and preach it's a point of contact that that same grace that god has put upon my life and that same grace that god has put upon his life together with his wife that somebody will carry this grace Listen. I prophesy right now over your life listen to me if you have never believed a man of God in your life please believe I prophesy to you wherever you are whether you are inside or outside I'm praying for you the grace that can come upon a man and touch the hearts of men and manipulates the hearts of men to bless that person receive that grace right now Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Hear me. I prophesy to your finances. The grace. Kabados kalapras katabari keto shibriada susia. Sheketos kosobrandash kalabaragatush. The grace that can cause a man to receive help from God. I cry to the God of Jeshurun and I decree and declare receive supplies in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. 
to me i pray for every financial pressure that is on anyone under the sound of my voice whether it is rent whether it is the resources for a project i decree i stand by this grace god has given me between now and the next one month let there be a strange miracle hallelujah god who can pick a man from the donkey and place him i want to call forth those who god has spoken to but have refused to respond to the voice of god over your life in the name of jesus i prophesy across the borders of lagos the north the south the east the west wherever your helpers are i command them to appear in your life now one in this church called jobless you are looking for a job i don't care how long please listen in the name of jesus i come for this conference with an anointing and i decree and declare by the favor of god between now and the end of march return with your employment letter for any and everyone due for promotion i don't know why you have been hindered whether tribal issues whatever it is but in the name of jesus i declare the god who forced nebuchadnezzar to stand up and run and say oh daniel has your god been able to come and lift you and deliver you i pray for you may that god touch the heart of your superiors and cause them to lift you If you are in business, lift your hands. Whether it's successful or not, just lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, there is a grace for creativity, for imagination, for innovation, and to call forth men that will help you. I stretch my hands towards you. I speak to your business. Receive life in the name of Jesus. I command your business to expand in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever has brought your business to its knees, in the name of Jesus, I declare the same way Jesus Christ rose from the grave. I command your business to rise from obscurity. Hallelujah. I pray for students. In the name of Jesus, especially for those in final year, right now, right here, we graduate you in the name of Jesus. Listen, listen to me. I'm rounding up. Some of you have made mistakes. All kinds of things have happened and you need the mercy of God. Just like the hair of Samson grew back. I invoke the mercy of the God of David over your life and over your academics. Hallelujah. From today I declare that every time you pass your helper, may this grace that has come on you compel them to bless you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ listen and i pray for you whoever stands before your helper and speaks negative about your life just when they want to bless you a voice comes no in the name of jesus i cancel the counsel of ahitophel in the name of jesus christ he told mary thou art highly favored highly favored listen 
I want to pray for every couple here struggling, especially financially. The Bible, I'm led to do this. The Bible says, he that finds a wife, listen, he said, finds a good thing and obtains favor. The very act of bringing a woman to your life should bring favor. So any woman that is not, her life is not bringing favor. I'm not saying you are doing something. Your very presence should cause your husband to experience strange favor if that is not happening in any family here in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god after this service let strange favor begin strange favor begin strange favor begin say after me in the name of jesus shout it say in the name of jesus tonight I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray Separate from God's sort of us. I tear it down. All that of delay. All that of barrenness. All that of failure. Hallelujah. Please spare yourselves to two. Find find a partner and hold a hand. Be serious, please. If the person by your side is not serious, leave him alone. We're doing serious business tonight. Find a partner and hold a hand. Shabakato Labakaya. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly. Tonight I invoke the blood. Let the blood speak. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Every legal access. I have given any altar of darkness. Shabbat Kata. Matele Kodosia. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. 
in the name of Jesus I tear you down release my destiny release my destiny altars of poverty altars of delay altars of stagnation I speak against you I speak against you I curse you by the God of heaven by the God of heaven Hallelujah. We're really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We're still praying, please. We're still praying. Shalapakaya. We're still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We're still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny because of where i'm coming from i prophesy tonight your hold is broken over my life lift your voice and pray altars associated with territories associated with territories i come against you by the god of heaven i come against you pray pray i come against you Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders authorize the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you are going to call the name of your family members listen i don't care how many call it listen you are going to call them one by one and say i stand as an altar and i bring you out of this dungeon lift your voice and pray call them call them call them mention them by name call them i bring you out of this wasteful living call them Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. In the name of Jesus. I command it to my life now. Lift your voice and pray. You don't have to travel. Call it everywhere it is. hallelujah I want you to pray listen I want you to pray and talk to God tell him Lord I'm part of this apostolic family the altar you have erected here must speak for me I want my life to show it from today lift your voice and pray pray with understanding and watch what happens to you pray with understanding pray with understanding Understanding, Lord, I invoke the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Marketos sokomo shabada, lamrei marketos kosoko pesekeya. I declare it. Marketos sokomo pesekeya. hallelujah many of you may not realize what is happening to you please i don't want you to idolize this teaching no it's not about religiosity it's about proper understanding and application so it's not just coming to lie down here that, no 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 the altar is a revelation 
we are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives listen because many of us here the only time you pray is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray i receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede fresh grace for warfare i command every dead prayer life around my life come back to life come back to life hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point and i will pray for you there are many of us the spirit of god started revealing things to you because you were meeting with him every day but something happened no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life no access to illumination you used to be you used to have projects that you and god are on you can literally say we are on a faith project but now there's nothing like that your life has become stale and barren some of you is when you started ministry this this so-called thing called ministry that's what destroyed you we are going to pray a prayer of restoration and the fire will fall upon you i like you to pray say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say holy spirit i ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened hallelujah please lift your hands i tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies i pray for you now i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three I command those altars now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command those altars 
be broken be broken listen lift your hands i'm challenging altars of failure listen just i'm praying for you don't pray just listen to me because i'm seeing people here failure it has nothing to do with academics it makes you fail in everything i stretch my hands may that fire anyone here who is a victim that altar is speaking i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i judge those altars now 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 now. by fire i judge those altars now There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category, but in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of jesus i command total deliverance help them help them please total deliverance in the name of jesus christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted i'll tell you why i'm praying for you there are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege i'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names i decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lumps around your body those lumps those barrenness i got it by the god of heaven i got it by the god of heaven hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online or offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now I, I break that marriage 
I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. My God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. A time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus. Whether inside or outside. You are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Every anointing that must be released towards your direction for this prayer to be answered, we release it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every pattern that is not just an individual but is a pattern that is written here as God is visiting you here every other person connected to you whose request you have written here we command a miracle for them where they are in the name of Jesus Christ There are situations here that need the blood. I declare by the mystery of the blood. There are three that bear witness in the heavens. Three that bear witness in the heavens. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. In the name of the Lord God of heaven. By the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant. We cancel every ordinance that sponsors continuity of this request. In the name of Jesus. And the king could not sleep in the night. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And he saw there written what Mordecai did. Whoever must remember you for this request to be granted. By the God of heaven, we open the book of remembrance tonight. holding what belongs to you which is the reason we have shown them to release it now every family here wed in shame and reproach it looks like there is no dignity the speakings of God does not seem to find expression here. I agree with you tonight by the God of heaven. Please help those under the anointing. That by the power of the Holy Ghost, shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Therefore, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you have dropped here, by the God of heaven, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. The same way I stand upon this request. I command that you stand upon every I command that you stand upon every challenge. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I speak over your life. The doors that have followed you here closed. In the name of Jesus, please believe. Let your don't be distracted. Focus on the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those doors be open now. Be open now. Be open now. 
be opened now. Every grounded ministry here, every grounded business, every grounded family, hear the word of the Lord. I command and I declare, come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. To life. Every helper assigned from God who has not yet paid attention to you and what you request, I stand by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus, I compel them to attend to your matter. I compel them to attend to your matter. I compel them to attend to your matter. Everything that should have happened and has not yet happened, according to the program of God, you know you should have entered that level and you are not there. By prophecy, I push you to that level. By prophecy, I push you to that level. Listen, you see, let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm not just speaking, I'm seeing something upon your life. You may not see it, but you leave this place and watch what happens to you. Then you will see things turn around. Let me pray for you. The kind of favor that must bring acceleration to your life. Please receive this one. In the name that is above all names, may that mantle like a cloak. Take favor. Take favor. Carry favor. Carry favor. In the name of Jesus. Every area you have struggled in your life, you have done what you know to do. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that struggle comes to end now. Now please listen. The anointing your destiny needs for this season. Please listen. Every season has a grace requirement. Every season. There are doors that don't just open because you stand in front of them. Yesterday's anointing will not move you to tomorrow's place. I pray for you. This is an impartation. Wherever you are, I declare like the dew of heaven, the kind of grace you must carry for this season. Let it land on your destiny now. This anointing, I forbid you from being ignored in the name of Jesus Christ. I forbid you from being ignored. I forbid you from being treated alive. No man will look down on you. They came to Jesus and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things except God be with him. The things that must be done through your hands in this season for it to be said this is the Lord's doing as you are lifting your hands may a fresh unction from heaven come upon those hands for exploit anyone in ministry here I declare over you go back to your various assemblies and platforms let there be fire on your altar Fire on your altar. Fire on the ministration. Let the gifts of the Spirit work powerfully. In the name of Jesus. We are rounding round up. Let's pray over our finances. This issue of finance is bringing many people to their knees. Bringing many families to their knees. Distracting people. The time we should spend on the things of the kingdom. We are focusing on money. What to eat. What to wear. House rent. Building projects. It is not the will of God.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Ebenezer, the helper of men. I declare this month, even beginning from today, receive strange financial help. Receive strange financial help. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, strange financial help. Everyone under the sound of my voice, trusting God for an honorable job. Listen, there are jobs that don't have honor. They are time wasters. They are devourers. I pray for you. The kind of job that represents dignity. That will honor you and help you to build your home well. May the God of heaven give you such a job. Let me pray for your spiritual life. If you have cars, you have houses, and your spiritual life is not on fire, you are not doing well. The first index to measure prosperity in the kingdom is the health of your spiritual life. That your prayer life fire, word life fire, fellowship with the spirit fire, no room for up today down tomorrow. I pray for you, fresh fire upon your prayer life. 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 Every lukewarmness, slumber, glue to me. This spirit that destroys your spiritual fervency. I declare in the name of Jesus, receive victory over them. The grace that can keep a man in the presence of God. The, the staying power that you can stay with the world. Stay in prayer. Not rush in and rush out and want power. God is not a magician. I pray for you. The unction to stay. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every dimension in the spirit that is supposed to have been activated. There are some of you now. Listen. There are levels of graces you should have left. Sincerely. There are dimensions of power. There are haziness. Certain dimensions of haziness in your spiritual perception. There is a level of authority. There is an office you should be sitting on now. But it's not yet there. I pray for you. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. Listen. Everything in your life that has refused to grow. God gave you a ministry that membership, nobody is placing a demand on your grace. God gave you a business, it has refused to grow. No increase, no impact. Anything that is alive grows. Whatever has stopped growth in your life, I bring that thing to an end now. Finally, let me pray, please. The spirit of infirmity. I told you that this is, this is, I came to pray and rebuke that spirit. Because that spirit, like the angel of death, is moving over families. Attacking children. Attacking all kinds of people. Headache will just kill a man for nothing. Kata! And they will say it's cancer. Pain around your breast. They will say you have a malignant a tumor. See, let me tell you, whatever you don't fight to victory will remain in your life. Challenges are not the issue, but that you stand and fight the good fight of faith until you see what God said. If you have not seen what God said, don't stop. I pray for you. The spirit of a warrior, the grace that will cause you to refuse to allow things that are not the will of God, May that grace rest upon you now. I 
a body of believers, we agree that the spirit of infirmity first over this family, number two over this territory, and number three over the body of Christ. Thou spirit of infirmity, we punish your operation now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted at noonday, the spirit of death. If there is anyone here that death is looming around the corridors of your life, or your loved ones, or those connected to you spiritually and by bloodline, I declare, let death lose its grip over you now. Receive the last prayer that I pray for you to end this miracle service. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Please listen. Honor is a real grace. You can do everything to bring honor and yet honor will not come. Honor is not about usurping authority over people. Grace. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. The kind of honor that needs to distinguish you for the sake of the kingdom in this season. May that grace and may that honor rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Goodness and mercy may it follow you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for influence the grace for visibility I decree and declare upon you and upon the works of your hands may that grace rest upon you now I pray for your spiritual life especially for those of you who it has gone down your prayer life is not quite the way it should be or many of you are trusting God for higher levels of intercession prayer fasting may that fire land upon your life now the discipline to study scripture the discipline to learn doctrine that makes for the maturity of the saints I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ every wrong association in your life recycling pain recycling seasons of defeat i cut you away from those associations forever in the name of jesus everyone here trusting god for a, a good and an honorable job i stand in agreement believe what i'm saying in the name of jesus who is the christ of god may you return by next miracle service with a testimony in the name of jesus christ i pray for you as you travel by air, by sea, by road, no demonic kidnapper will have access to you or your loved ones. And then I pray that you will not be a victim of any kind and any form of accident. The Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is lost, none is broken. In the name of Jesus, you are preserved. May the grace that makes for honor, the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries, may that grace rest upon you. I pray for your family members, wherever they are, across this nation and across the globe, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the ministry of angels, we declare their preservation. No one here under the sound of my voice will die before their time. I say it again that no one here under the sound of my voice will die before their time. Amen. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence. In the name of Jesus Christ, the destruction that wasted at noonday, I declare that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall hurt you with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked
every helper of your destiny in this season i command them to show up for you the gift that god has given you to serve your generation with that holds your relevance your honor your fulfillment i pray for you in this season may that gift find visibility those of you in business in the name of jesus may the lord grant you wisdom can i pray over your finances in the name that is above all names by the mercy of the god of heaven i pray for you supernatural supplies by the spirit strategic favor connections may god bring men and women who are interested in your well-being they will invest their credibility they will invest their resources in your life in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you every spirit of lukewarmness that wants to affect your spiritual fervency hence your progress in the spirit in the name of jesus christ i declare it departs from your life now and forever more particularly i pray for those of you who have come from far as you return you return in the power of the holy ghost Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.